last time, like, you know, I think I was one of the top influencers, right? So, um, people would always say, like, stuff to me, like, you think you can be popular for how long? And now she will come along and take over you, right? And I keep waiting and waiting that no such person <laughs> has come. You get yeah, what I mean? I think it's very like, hard to be your second sister. So honestly. I don't understand like why is it that there are no no other opinionated like oh. person like who is also like just posting about all these things lah or like whatever, right? And then all I see are like these most influencers, they are like funny or like mm. uh, good looking or like you just likable la, like a like, likable personality but in essence quite vanilla or like safe. They are safe. Mm. They are they're very wholesome, right? And at the end of the day I think maybe actually they are the smart ones and I'm the dumb one. La. Okay. Now we are waiting for Wendy, aka Xia Xue, to come and join us. From what I heard, she's being mic'd up right now as you are speaking. Uh, just a bit of background. I'm gonna be singing to Xia Xue, uh, her iconic guide to life song. Not sure how she will respond to it, but I hope she can sing along with me. Um, yeah, I already prepared a video. Eh. See. Okay, I'll give you a bit of a snippet before she comes in. My name is Wendy, and I'm a blogger. La 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 la. Oh, actually, the song very long. Okay, let me think how to cut. Can I cut a bit more? La 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 la. Um, what ah? Uh? Fix my teeth and bleach my hair. Then I kiss the girl, ate underwear. Uh, yeah, got more lah, but I'll cut it out. Okay, welcome to Hi. the best late night talk show. Hi. Hi. It's not late night at all, but you are the best. You are the OG influencer. So, <laughs> you got everyone's very scared of me. That's why. Hi. Huh? Really, you think so? I I do think so, lah. In general, I think people are quite scared of me. The vibe is with this. It's just very fierce law online, lah. But then you see me in real life, you're like, wow, this person I can knock her out with one punch, right? Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I saw the video where you talk about this, where yeah. like you say you are quite non-confrontational in real life. As yeah. compared to your pub. Unless um, the person yeah. really pissed me off lah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But okay lah, I mean, looking mm. at you, you're actually quite... Right? Yeah, cute and endearing. <laughs> 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 oh my god, okay, okay. So, maybe before we start, mm. uh, besides giving you the food, right? Um, can you like maybe do a very, very simple introduction of like, your maybe the whole story of the OG thing. I mean, a lot of people know, obviously, mm. because you're so well known in Singapore, right? Okay. Best already. What's more to say? But maybe from yourself, <laughs> in your own words. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let us know why you're the best. Okay, sure. Um, actually, you know, I think I don't get enough credit for this. <laughs> like, because um, I started blogging in 2003. I think a lot of people watching this probably not even born yet, right? Like, yeah. So, at that time, very few people were blogging and it's unheard of that you make a career out of it. Mm. Yeah, so last time I was testing as influencers. I don't know when that term came about, lah, but I hated it. So like, um, shortly after like I started blogging, I started realizing that eh, it's starting to get popular, which is really weird because I only told two people about my blog. One is my best friend at that time and the other one is like my classmate. Mm. And then they had shared the link to other people. Lah, and then it was like slowly more and more people reading the hundreds and then it became thousands and then I went on newspapers and everything. Then, you know, like someone like wanted to advertise on my blog. At that mm. time, he was a, a, for a t-shirt brand. Yeah, so that, that guy who owns the t-shirt brand is still my friend till today. He's a very smart guy. So he told me like, you know, you should try to monetize your blog. Wow. Yes. So he said, then, I think I told this story many times before. Yes. Okay, but get into your head, guys. I'm the first. Without me, where are all the influencers today? Yes, right. Okay, yeah. So uh, he said, why are you even paying for your hair, your nails, all this? And I was complaining to him, like, eh, he said my roots are very ugly or something. Like that. Oh. Then I was just like, I have no money to go and dye it, lah, you know, like bleaching expensive. Ma. Then he was just like, you don't have to pay. Wah. Just ask the law give you for free. Then I was just like, what? But like, who it's, will? It's unheard of, yeah. you know, such a thing. Like, you have to understand it's not possible at that time, like nobody even thought about doing that. Then, then I was like, why would they give it to me for free? Then he said that you are more, like, look at the amount of readers that you have, right? Mm. It's definitely more than what you will get if you put uh, an ad on a magazine, which will cost like thousands, right? So it's really nothing to them just give you the hair service for free. 
And then I said, how do I go about doing that? I don't know anyone in the marketing department. I was only 18 years old at that time. Then he, was, he said, like, uh, just do a portfolio, print, print one out, how many, like, your statistics, your newspaper articles and stuff like that, an introduction of who you are and, and show it to them and say, this is me, do you want to sponsor me, lah, basically, uh. right? So I did that and then uh, the, the hair company, it was Kimmich at that time. So, oh. yeah, then they agreed to it. Shockingly enough, like wow, I, I literally it, just walked into the shop and I said, like, can I have the contact of like a marketing person or something? Yeah, it was damn great. By yourself? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, wow, really? So, like that. Then after that, then uh, that was, I guess, the first maybe hair sponsorship in Singapore for like a, a online yes, persona. Yes. So, an uh, online personality, I mean. So, um, subsequently, it just went on from there, lor, started getting ads and everything. And I think my clients kept coming back also because they realised that it's so much more effective than like putting mm. a classified on newspaper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then like to most people, like putting an ad on TV, like the 9pm like show, right? It's like only the very big brands can do it because it's so expensive. The cheaper options are like magazines right. or like whatever, like newspapers, like even newspapers, you if you only have like a thousand dollars, you can only do classified, mm. which it's like you're in a mess of like so many yeah. other ads, you know? Yeah, so then become like that. You know? Wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. People, actually, I know because before this, I really watch a lot of your videos already. Yes. And I, I oh, kind of did fan. my homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I must, yeah, yeah. So I already heard. I also heard like how you got into blogging. Mm. Uh, so the background story of you were writing and then you gave it to someone who very uh, just threw it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of mine. So I was like, Oh yeah, so you got into that and then from there it leads on to so, so many things lah. Yeah. yeah. And I think from then there were actually a lot of things that you did that garnered a lot of attention. So actually today before as a small warm-up lah for us, okay. right? We prepared a short um this or that game for you. Sure. Uh for for you to choose like what um what are these moments and which one right is more iconic to you. Okay. Or like matter more to you. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. But but it's up to your own like standard of which one is more uh, worthwhile. Okay. Okay. Or, like so in terms of content. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it can be some videos that you did or uh, blog posts that you did okay. that kind of went viral. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will just put put and then it will be like a World Cup championship and then there will be a top viral okay, moment. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. iconic moment that okay. came out from it. So okay. So the first two that we are gonna put out for the challenge is this. Kissing a girl and the Rosma makeup. Wow, this is very hard leh. Yeah. Uh, These are like two of your most, one of the few la, most viral videos that are up on your YouTube. So okay. then we went to look. I think maybe the Rosma one because it has more like views, I think. But the, the kissing a girl one is also, I guess, quite iconic. Okay, well. we'll keep the Rosma. Then we'll go on to the next round. So there is two types of expose that you did. Okay, not really. Okay, okay yeah, one and another one is like a second round lah, okay? okay? So there is the Gash Club one and the Daryl Aiden one. Daryl okay. Aiden one, not really lah. So not I really think la. Gash Club. The sure. Gash Club one. Yeah. Okay, okay. So the Daryl Aiden one, not really, but the Gash Club. Okay, so we'll keep this also. Then after that... So cute! Anyway guys, if you want to see my blog, right, it's like shut down. Yeah, already. actually I tried eh. Yeah. I want to say like, I went to, I wanted to like, find some like, interesting uh, content that you did in the past, right? But I went, right? I cannot yeah. access anything. Yeah, I realised, right, my vlog, right, is like, really cannot. Like, you know, last time, like, because I kind of cancelled, right, like, few yeah, years yeah, back, for, the... for like, a tweet in 2011, which I don't even remember tweeting anymore, right? Then, like, if you look at my blog, right, it's damn jalat. Really? Yeah, like, so many cancelable things, like, so bad. Okay, so, the next one, is this SG YouTubers are hypocrites and this rabbit K-pop fans? Do you remember this though? I, I remember of course. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think uh hmm. probably the hypocrite one lah because the, the K-pop one I think nothing much. But this one is one of my first few more popular YouTube videos that I did on my own channel. Oh. Like yeah. So okay, this one. Actually this yeah quite interesting. I mean I watched the video myself lah and then I was like when Eden Ang was still around. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, it's like... just so funny. <laughs> okay, then the last two is this. There's a social blade one and then the NOC saga. And oh. you did the interview. Hey, look, at, look at all these cancelled people. All of us are cancelled. <laughs> eh. uh, I think NOC. Pa. NOC. Actually, oh, but okay, yeah, as in, they both cancelled, but I think only you could have done this content with them actually. Like, oh. Yeah, you had that sure. say, you know? <laughs> yeah, but okay, NOC. Okay, so that means out of these four, we are going to do another round of elimination. Huh? And then we'll get to the top, lah, okay? Yeah, okay, so the first two, Rosma vs. Gash Club. 
Which one your thing? I think gush. Gush cloud. It's more. Uh, this one is because it's like it involved Malaysia, so yeah. like there was on like it was on Malaysian yeah. news and it was very popular because a lot of Malaysians watch it. But I feel like as a Singaporean myself, lah, this one is more Singaporean content. Oh yeah. And it's more. Uh, it definitely took longer to make. That one took like six hours. This oh. one took like a whole year in preparation. Oh my god, this one took a year. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then the next round, the YouTubers one versus the NOC saga. I think also NOC. NOC, but how come different different criteria here? Uh, I feel like this one, like this one is just my opinion, ma. Mm. Versus this one is like more it was intensive her. news about like a like different like from other people's perspective also like the interview and I think um um it is a very long mm. video and like people still watched it and had like more views than the other ones so I pick this one. Okay, then I mean we're down to the last two. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I still pick the Gush Cloud one. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, how come? Actually this happened really quite a long time ago. It's a very long time yeah, ago. Yeah, but how come but this is still your top? Uh, because I feel like this was like a long time in the making. I had actually consulted four lawyers before actually publishing oh, it. Oh wow. And there was a lot of work done into the investigation and everything lah. Cause uh, and at the end of the day, um, the CEO of Singtel actually apologized, came out to apologize and everything. So it's just like it caused a really big hoo ha mm. And then people are just like, Sasha, you make the CEO of Singtel apologize. Yeah. Like, you know, like so Not different at you. Uh, in that sense I think it, it caused a bigger impact. Mm. Mm. And then because of this, uh, it actually like, you know, I had a meet up with um, like like ministers and stuff to discuss like future laws for like advertising mm. and things like that. So I think yeah. Wow. You are really a big thing eh. No, at the time not. Like now. Like. Now also a big thing, right? You don't think okay. so? Okay, but yeah. So now we know uh, everybody, this is one of the more iconic moments that Sasha herself also thinks that. Yeah. But I mean Gashua is still alive today. I think they're still doing quite well. So I hope that like, you know, um like from this whole saga, like, you know, they are doing more honest work lah, yeah. Mm. So, but if they are still active and you know hiring people and like doing good for you know, uh, what's that the economy? Yeah, I think that's good lah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you have so many like different type, types of content that you did, um, and then some of them go viral. Uh, maybe sometimes a bit controversial and stuff like that. Mm. So obviously, people are uh, quick to also comment and uh, leave you know, maybe nasty things about you sometimes mm. and about the content that you do. So maybe uh, can share a bit more about like how do you actually like react to certain comments and like what will be your immediate like response? Because when I watch, right, mm. sometimes you say you don't even expect the content to go viral. Right. Yeah. Uh, usually, uh, usually if I see that the, the comment is quite funny, like sometimes people leave very stupid comments and but sometimes I feel like I have a good response to it, then I'll share the comment and then share my response oh. to it lah and then I think it's quite funny like people like it I guess um, but I always feel that with the internet right if you want to fight a war of always fight it on your own turf never ever fight it on other people's turf mm. so if for example now Mothership has a very nasty article about me right and then like I mean toilet like, hopefully not but like then the con comments are very bad I will never go and reply the people there because oh. it's not up to me to go and like delete or like whatever if anything bad comes out then I don't want to fight there if anything I will print screen the comment like post it on my own Instagram and talk about it oh. yeah oh. but last time I really very bad one like, like I if the comment is on a cafe connected to Facebook account right then I can see that person I'll go and shame that person so oh. I'll just be like you, oh look at your stupid face you didn't say I ugly you know like yeah like, what about your mother? Oh, wow yeah, yeah like very okay, bad okay, one just like oh I, yeah, I really very bad one like, I just like fight because you start the fight what? Oh. Who else you can't say me? Like, you get what I mean? Like, you, you don't provoke someone at the playground, right? You get what I mean? Like, yeah. you just see a person, hey, you wear ugly, you wear fat, like that. That is very rude, eh? So, if I retaliate and I go all out, you cannot blame me, what? Because you started the fight, ma. Oh. Yeah, then you already know that I'm like that, then you still want to provoke me, then it's your own tight already, lah. Has anybody yeah. ever apologized to you, like, after you, like, retaliate and, like, hit back at them? Got lah. Got people like say like you know not 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 say apologize but like they try to clarify the situation. Okay, it was not like what you think. This is this. Then sometimes I feel very bad. Then I will apologize or I'll say like okay, I previously posted this, but actually you know like, oh. like that. yeah. But mostly small things. Like for the bigger stuff, I usually will. 
try to do better research first and make sure that I get the correct oh, information. Okay, yeah. shoot but most of the time people just like to send lawyers letter. Like oh. I got a lot of C's and DCs. Like, oh really? Yeah. Take down your post, if not I will this and that. Like yeah. Then okay. I just ignore. Uh. Most of the time I just ignore them. Uh. Huh? So you can just ignore? You can. And then? Nothing happens, ah. Oh. So like a cease and desist is the first start, right? Like they, if you're sue someone for defamation, then you, you you first send. You don't have to, by the way, but it's just like most people try to do this step first. They just say, okay, send you a lawyer's letters called cease and desist. Like stop posting about me, take it down, and then they are, like either uh, compensate me, a public apology, oh, yeah. or take it down. Like all three things can be all three lah, but can be one of the three also. Oh. Then they say if you don't, I will sue you for defamation, right? And then you cause you cause me damages in reputation or whatever shit, mm. right? So then you see this letter, you are like, do I ignore or like whatever, right? So if you ignore it, then the next step the person will have to do is to actually file a lawsuit against you. Oh, yeah. So most of them don't just bother. Stop la. Yeah, because who wants to go and start a defamation suit? At yeah. the end of the day, if an influencer or like whatever say something bad about you, it's over means over in my like, you know, you get what I mean? Like maybe people talk about it for like one week, two weeks. Tops. Mm. After that, then nobody cares. Then you just let it go, lor. Rather than spending like you know a lot of money to go and sue lah. Okay. Then on the contrary, have you sent C's and DCs to people before? Uh, have or don't have ah. No, but I filed for POHA before oh. la, Like Protection Against Harassment Act. Yeah. Actually, is it very hard on you? Like sometimes, I mean, mm. people will probably expect that eh, like you know, this comes with the job. Right. Right? Yeah. yeah. But I think sometimes it might be a bit a lot to ask yeah. of people. I think uh, I understand that like, you know, when you post controversial stuff, people don't like you and they say nasty things. So that one I really don't mind. You can say whatever you want. Like, but when it comes to untrue things that you are saying that actually, you know, like hurt my reputation like in a very severe way, then that one I think I have to do something about it. Lah. Yeah. Or it, if it infringes on like my personal safety already. Uh, yeah. Mm. Wow. But actually I think it's sometimes quite stressful, I feel. Like, yeah. occasionally when I see the comments, and then sometimes, I mean, I will laugh whenever I see, like, you will respond to them, or like, that's what you say, you will capture, right, and then reply to them on your yeah. IGS, right? I really like LOL, because I think, like, wow, how you even think of these responses, like, in such a witty <laughs> manner, actually? <laughs> like, you know, like, as in, how do I say, like, sometimes you're so direct that it's, like, funny. Like, you don't even care, it's, like, Factually, like, bro, like, are you okay or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, those instances, like, I will be like, wow, such a really built different. Like, because like people leave all kinds of very, very weird comments sometimes, and you just like it just blows your mind, leh. Like sometimes they are so dumb, and it's just like, I don't know, like, I feel like, like a lot of people don't realize that when they are leaving these comments, they are like super double standard. You know, they especially mm. love to like like criticize me like for morals and stuff like that and then they can on one hand right say something like how can you uh, say something against like oh, Greta Thunberg for example oh, yeah. right like she's just a kid like honestly you're such a f***ing terrible mother I hope your child dies then I'm just like huh? okay so you said I shouldn't attack a kid but then you hope that my kid dies oh, then yeah, you yeah, okay yeah. or not bro like, like you, you super double standard right kid and kid right yeah like, what's the difference yeah you and me same eh then don't be so like that lah. Then they are like, can you don't be so negative online? Like seeing you uh, say all these things, like it really like, it's such a bad vibe or like whatever. Then I'm like, dude, you're leaving a bad comment, you also bad vibe, right? Like, like all the yeah, same Yeah, so la. I think people are just like, they just want to have a say lah, I guess. Oh, yeah. So like, will you say like, when you see people who are a bit on like moral high ground, you will get a bit icky like? Yeah, I cannot, I cannot deal with it. Like, I feel like there's no true altruistic Oh. in the world so like I just feel like these people who claim a moral high ground it's like they are always almost always hypocrites mm. yeah and it's like how do you judge someone's morals like I mean of course some things are truly despicable la. don't say about like raping a child or this yeah, la, yeah. right but at the end of the day like small small things like oh you shouldn't be eating like meat or you shouldn't be using a straw you know like then you la, you only do things to your own convenience also. so I feel a lot of people are like that and it's kind of annoying like you, you do your thing Nobody's stopping you. It's great for you. Good, mm. like you know, uh, but don't go and inflict your thinking on other people, lah. Yeah, yeah. I think like you're one of the few, or uh, one of the yeah, really, hands uh, over who like you. Uh-huh. Um, be so forthcoming <laughs> in what you think and speak it out as it is, lah. Yeah. So I think in that sense, um, nowadays the mm. group of influencers and content creators online. Sometimes they aren't as like forthcoming or direct with like mm. the things they say. Yeah. So maybe like from your experience, right? Like because 
from now, from then until now. Mm. Uh, like, how has the landscape changed actually? Well, okay, last time, like, you know, I think I was one of the top influencers, right? So, um, people would always say, like, stuff to me, like, you think you can be popular for how long? And now such will come along and take over you, right? And I keep waiting and waiting and no such person <laughs> has come. You get yeah, I, mean? I think it's very like, hard to be a second So honestly. I don't understand like why is it that there are no no other opinionated like oh. person like who is also like just posting about all these things lah or like whatever, right? And then all I see are like these most influencers, they are like funny or like mm. uh, good looking or like you, you just likable la, like a likable personality but in essence quite vanilla or like safe, they are safe, mm. they, are, they are very wholesome, right? And at the end of the day, I think maybe actually they are the smart ones and I'm the dumb one la. because this is what advertisers want, ma. like it's safe, it's wholesome, that's how you earn money. Yeah, but I mean when I started this whole thing, I didn't start it because I wanted a career out of it. The career right. was just a little side bonus that I got. Uh, but it was because I actually wanted to share my opinions. La. So I try to, you know, like what they say, like, <laughs> you know, try to still stay true. Yeah, stay true to my essence. But I think nowadays, right, as I have gotten older mm. and more mature in thinking, I think. I think I've gotten a lot more mellow as oh well. God, yeah, actually I was gonna yeah. say, like, I feel so, like you are milder. Yeah, in, in a sense, I think two things. Firstly is the whole cancellation thing back like two years back, right? And I think that has scared me a little bit. Like I don't want to deal with another one of that. Mm. Like is it worth it or not like to go through that whole thing with the whole like, you know, lawsuit and everything that comes with it. Um, then like, uh, also like I started to think like actually, Maybe ni jiang sun qi zuo zuo mo. Like ni jiang hai shi bu jiang, the world still goes on ah. Mm. Like at the end of the day, nothing really much changes. Whether you say your piece or you don't, and at the end of the day, if you say it, then it affects you in a negative way also. Then maybe you just share with your friends or what you think. Mm. Like that yeah, but sometimes I still feel like like, you know, I I want to say something like that. I'm just like mm, maybe maybe a bit lazy. I go and play a game. Then after I play video game, then I'm just like eh. Maybe yeah, don't need. Yeah, yeah. Maybe don't need. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Then maybe more. But I, I think. I think. Sorry. Yes. I, yes. I, I do think that the the landscape has changed mm. in Singapore. That time I really don't like the whole woke idea, mm. I, and I think it has reduced by a lot. Yeah. Like these people have quietened down by a lot. The whole movement has sort of like went down. Yeah. So less things are like pissing me off already. Yeah. Nothing much mm. is happening. Ah. So like people are just in general not so noisy. Yeah, not so angry. Um, you know, so like everyone is just like chilling, doing mm. their own thing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a very interesting thing that I didn't really think about. But yeah, yeah it's yeah. true, right? Like yeah, there, yeah. there are people are less kaupe nowadays. <laughs> then, when they are less kaupe, I also less angry because I, I never see. I mean, they never kaupe you yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Then maybe I want to ask, like you know, like new gen influencers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, anyone you really like. They really feel, oh, what? I hate people who are doing public TikToks. Can you all not? Oh my god, they don't do public TikTok, then how? What do you mean? Why must you, can't you just do it at home? Why must you do it in the middle of the oh, road? Then okay, like, you're just like dancing there. It's so annoying, eh. Okay. Think about the feelings of old school influencers who walk past you and just feel, oh, looking at you. <laughs> like, that is so unkind. No, I was asking, like, whether there's any, like, Gen Z that you either, like, love or hate. Okay, I don't hate, I don't hate. Actually, I do watch their stuff. Yeah, actually, yeah. I, I can tell. But I tell. think in general, in Gen Zs, are like a lot of them are like the woke type. So like, oh. I confirm don't like. As long as you woke, I confirm don't like. Yeah. Your content also started out as a bit more like hearted and mm. frivolous. Mm. And then the people around at that point of time who were also doing like vlogging, mm. they were posting things like politics. They are like, I don't know, doctor yeah, yeah, things yeah, sure. and stuff like that. Mm. And then from then until now, like has that evolved for you? And then when you look at the younger crowd yeah. doing frivolous things like what you said, yeah. then do you feel reminded? No la, okay, from the start, I think my, my content has always been like kind of the same la, I guess. Just like maybe as I grow older, maybe a bit less childish. Uh, but that's definitely, I don't deny that I also have content that's completely worthless to anyone. You know, like it's not all content that's like smart, well thought out and everything. But when I see this kind of content that is like, like completely frivolous and dumb, right? I just feel even more stupid after watching. It kills my brain cells. Oh. Like I get no value out. What do I get out of watching a video of someone dancing like mm. five seconds to a trend? Like, okay, like how many times do you want to hear the stupid Cupid song? Like, you get what I mean? Like, it's just, okay, you flash a few of your before and after pictures. Then what? Like, what do I get out of this? Like, nothing. Oh. I learn nothing. Like, 
I just feel more dumb and I just wasted my time. That's it. So I just think that like in general content is going towards that trend. Like mm. sometimes I just want to watch something a bit more smart, you know, like mm. or funny that is like a bit more brainy in that sense. But like now it's just stupid, 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 stupid stuff, lor. Mm. Like oh, this person fall down, yeah, making my grandma do a TikTok dance. You know, this kind of thing. I'm just like, okay, it's not bad. It's quite entertaining. But after a while, you gotta ask yourself, lah. Like, should I be doing something more worthwhile in my life, lah? But will you say it's also because of the way people are consuming content now? I think in general, yes. yes. I think like, like, it's just easier to consume mm. content that doesn't require much of you. Cause like when people want to see social media, they want to relax, right? Cause mm. they are like working, studying, or like whatever. It's stressful, and they just want to chill when they are seeing their stuff. They just want to be entertained and have their brain shut off for a moment, lah. Um, and then they just watch this kind of stuff, lor. But mm. I, I feel in general, like last time, what what do people do for entertainment? Like they read books, right? Yeah. They, I don't know, collect stamps. What what, what do people know? Mm, collect postcard, yeah. Watch, yeah maybe, watch movies, maybe. Watch movies. I don't know. I feel like at least you learn a bit more things and sort of improve yeah. yourself a little bit. Yeah, but now it's like really just short. Mm. I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you say <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, but I guess you uh, still listen to trend, but okay. No, it's just blasted in my face all the time. But okay, so I also saw uh, this content where you said that for video content that you do, right, mm. most of the time, if it's something that is so detailed and thought out, right, it mm. will be something that you are also like quite passionate or at least like you're very invested in. Mm. Then you will do the video. Yeah, yeah. So like, was there any that maybe your team like mm. kind of like suggested to you and then you thought like, hey, this one I actually can do? Have la, like the, the like, like the Rosma video, oh, yes. it was not even like something that I thought of and I wanted to do. I just did a poll law on IG, asked people like, what do you think I should be for, for Halloween? Halloween? A lot of people replied Rosma. And I was like, okay lor, just try all. But I really didn't expect it to look like her. I have no idea how to use that. It's damn hard to use by the way, it's super difficult. Like the prosthetics, I have like newfound respect for people who do like really nice prosthetics. From then, now, mm. and then upcoming, there's, I mean there's AI and stuff like that. Like yes. do you see that as something that you would maybe enfold into your career actually? Cause like, I feel like you are skipping this TikTok gen, TikTok trends, kind of like generation. Okay lah, okay lah. I, I got try to do TikTok videos lah, but I haven't posted it yet. I filmed something, but yeah. Maybe I will have to go into it soon. What is like the support system that you have around you? Or like, you function well without it? No lah, of course not lah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's important that like, you know, sometimes before I, I post any like controversial content, I would discuss with my friends or like family and to ask them like, what do you think about this? Like at which, do you feel that when I say this is very often like you know is it is it wrong you know and after discussing with them like I trust their opinions a lot and they if they tell me that you know something should be adjusted or that my thinking is not right mm. then I would think again on exactly what went wrong and then adjust it before I post anything up so that that final piece is something that already went through some scrutiny from mm. my inner circle and if they're good with it I'm good with it because I, I, I trust their opinion, you know? And then everybody else who disagrees, like, you oh. murder Yeah, so it, uh, it feels secure in that way. And to know that, like, my friends, um, they have my back lah. Mm. Like, yeah. Have your inner circle, like, maybe, like, disagreed with you on, like, a content before? Have, have. Confirm have one. Yeah, they will say that, no, I disagree. I think that, like, your, your way of thinking is not right. Like, for example. Then, sometimes I explain what I meant. And... Uh, then they will say, okay, I kind of see in your point of view, but maybe if you say, don't say it this way, you say it this way, people oh. can understand you more. Like that. Then, yeah, then can post video. Mm. Okay, then when it's out, sometimes you receive backlash. Then, do the people around you actually like, like come up to you and say like, eh, like, you know, don't worry about it lah, I think you'll pass. Or what? No eh. They don't. Because like, people around me, they already just know. already know that I'm fine. Yeah. Actually, I'm really very, very okay with backlash unless it affects uh, external things other than me. Oh. Like, if you're attacking my family, they're not feeling happy about that, or like, they are, you're attacking my friend, or like, you know, you're attacking my clients, um, then it will affect me. Uh. But other than that, if you're just scolding me, Oh wow, you're cool with it. Uh, I'm totally okay. Uh. okay just, please, uh, just keep it to me, thanks. Oh wow, yeah. okay. <laughs>